Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, George Mukuduka, has noted that the return of the Angobra River and other water bodies to their pure status is a reflection of the strides made by government's fight against illegal mining. According to him, the progress made in the turbidity level of the water bodies is indicative of the fact that the anti galamse fight is yielding results. Illegal mining activities in the western region impacted negatively on almost all river bodies. Government, in its bid to control the situation, embarked on various initiatives such as the Operation Halt 1 and 2, with the reasons being the river wardens. These initiatives are now working as the Ancobra is now clean. A Deputy Minister for Mining and Natural Resources, George Murukuduka, who visited the area to see things for himself expressed optimism that the river will remain clean if all stakeholders come together to protect the river body. He said government will protect the necessary resources to sustain the anti galamse fight. The efforts that the respective uh, district chief executives have done and the river uh, wardens, uh, they have been patrolling at least here for quite some time and I'm happy to announce that the Ancobra, the downstream part of Ancobra uh, is getting uh, clearer. We want to have same and also do same for Pra and other river bodies. Let's collectively, because I may not be able to go all the parts of the river, so we have to uh, collaboratively come together the district chief executive for Elembele, Kwesi Bonzo, said the river gaining its former quality is a huge relief to the people whose survival depends on the river. In Sri Lanka, we mint fresh. Onana and Cobra was on them. Apple for what I had to say, it's a whole economy around this Ancobra River.